the latest bracketology on Division One men's and women's basketball. I will start with the women. Granted, I don't know every team's schedule on the bubble, but I will list some key games for them they need to win, if possible, to get off of that last four buys to the next four out list. The, ne the last four buys right now would be DePaul, Arizona State, Colorado, and Missouri State for the on the women's side, the last four in, Gonzaga, Mississippi State, Boston College, Oregon. The first four out, Dayton, Texas a and who's la coach, Gary Blair will retire soon, so he, after this year, so he needs to find a way to get to the NCAA tournament one more time, really, really quick. Mark Cat, Washington State, the next four out. Ironically, Villanova, who just knocked off uh, UConn, but they did lose to Seton Hall the game prior, apparently. UMass, Northwestern, South Dakota State. Well, if you're looking at the seeds right now, I don't get why Oklahoma women's basketball is a two seed right now. They lost, sure they have some good wins, but they lost to Kansas State by almost 30 points. But we'll see. Baylor would be a three seed right now. And the other two seed would be Michigan. Uh, yeah. Arizona, Iowa State. Iowa State, both Oklahoma and, I, uh, and, uh, and Iowa State have some very, very tricky games the rest of the year. Not to say Baylor doesn't because they do have three tricky games at the very end of the year. No offense to TCU twice in Oklahoma State. But they do have to play Kansas and I was Kansas and Waco, Iowa State and Ames and Texas. I would consider in Texas Tech because of the closeness, but after that, no. In terms of record. The one seeds would be NC State, Louisville, Stanford, South Carolina. I agree. Now, for the men's side, the the last four buys would be Wake Forest, North Dakota, North Carolina, not North Dakota, but North Carolina, San Francisco, Oklahoma. Iowa State's actually now on the first four in, last four in, despite one time being a top 10 team, but they did not play a strong non-conference schedule, granted. Creighton, BYU, Oregon, first four out, Memphis, Michigan. San Diego State, Florida, next four out, Rutgers, Kansas State, Virginia Tech, Belmont. For all those teams, both men and women, they need to find a way to win the majority of their games or win their conference tournament. Depend, But the thing about Villanova women's basketball is, what's the likelihood they're going to win the conference tournament with UConn in it? Not very high. So they just need to win as many games as you can. Just get to the championship game. Now, the one seeds for the men would be Gonzaga, Auburn. I don't know about Auburn. They played shaky at times against two bad teams. Arizona, Kentucky. Now, the two seeds would be Duke, Kansas, Baylor, Purdue. And I agree with that. I mean, Baylor still has a chance to be a one seed, but they would have to nearly win out. Probably, and it's going to be difficult with those injuries, but, you know. I'll put those uh, bracketology stuff in the link below so y'all can see it as well. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Let's give me up to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.